How's it going everybody? Back with episode two. I snuck out on the back nine of Anchorage Golf Course. I'm gonna play number 10, 11, and 12 is the plan. Uh, number 10 here at Anchorage Golf Course is par four. Playing from the blues is about 376. I'll show you the layout. Again, it's kind of another windy day out here. So, sorry if the audio is kind of crappy, but still wanted to get out and play. So, I'm gonna give you a, a little bit of a view of the hole. It's basically straight down the hill. There's red flag over on the right hand side. So, this hole kind of requires a little bit of course management. When the pin's in the front, you don't really want to bomb driver down there, in my opinion, and try to have a little wedge shot. You want to kind of lay up short. Uh, give yourself maybe a wedge of some sort, but try to stay away from the 40 yard pitches since it's an elevated green. So, I'm going to hit three wood, see where that leaves me. I kind of made a mistake, so I had about 80 yards. Hit a lob wedge, left it just on the front face of this green. So I hit another one just for kicks. It was way worse. Here is getting up and down when you miss greens. The skill most people don't have. Um, it's where you save the most strokes. So we're gonna see what happens here. I'm gonna see what I can do. So just like that, I hit me a pretty decent chip uh, to about four feet, five feet maybe. I made the par putt, just like that. It's like getting a green regulation and two putting. So even through one. So let's see what happens on number 11. 11's a really fun hole. Uh, it's another par four. It says plays 367 from the blues. So it's got a tree kind of right in the middle of the fairway. You can see it kind of right there. So your option is to try to hit driver flying over. You could aim left, there's some landing room over there. Uh, anything short right, it's bunker, pretty much bogey guaranteed. So uh, on the range I was hitting kind of a fade with my driver, so I'm gonna aim at the tree and maybe play a cut and see what happens here. Well, snap hooked my driver short right, which I said was pretty much dead. So, probably looking at a punch out, try to land in a safe area, and again, trying to get up and down far. All right, so what we're looking at is 
I'm sitting right here. And that's basically my window I need to get to. Hit something probably about 80 yards. So I'm gonna hit something low, maybe bounce into that hill. Cause just over it's where I wanna be. So, um, probably gonna hit something like a hooded seven iron, real soft, and pray for the best. About as best as I could hope for right there. Got a little lucky. Clipped some branches, but I think I'm in business. And I'm going to be looking at probably a 100, 105 yard shot. And I gotta stick it close to make this for par. I was a little indecisive on that shot. I had 107, wind was blowing in my face, so it was kind of between a gap wedge and a pitching wedge. So I went with a knockdown pitching wedge, kind of ballooned up on me, wind pushed it to the right. So I'm looking at probably, I would guess a, let's go ahead and say 17 foot for par. So let's see if I can drain it. Obviously that was a pretty ugly par, but I'll take it every time. Uh, I just played it as smart as I could. I hit a bad tee shot. I tried to punch it out to somewhere safe, knock it close, knock stiff, uh, and then uh, made the putt. So that's golf. Um, sometimes it goes your way. I don't know if I'm gonna make it through this hole on this battery. Um, this is number 12, 358. Pretty much a straight, uh, slight dog leg left par four. You wanna just head over this hill right here. And then the flag is probably right about here. So anything in this general vicinity down the left hand side of the fairway uh, can roll out. So I'm gonna be aiming for just right at that white stake. Went a little right of the white stake. Um, it's gonna be good though. Uh, it was a good miss right down the middle. So I'll take it. Um, we're gonna try to hurry up and get these last couple shots done. So ended up in really good shape. Uh, we got a blue pin right there. So this one you wanna fly back to the back shelf, definitely. Anything short is gonna roll towards the front. So. I got a little tailwind, it feels like. Uh, so once I get the distance, looks to be about 100. I'm probably gonna club down, obviously, for the wind, so.
Hey everybody, so I made the cardinal sin of not having a full battery when I went out and played today, so uh, I apologize for dying on hole 12. Um, but I think I am trying to get down this whole vlog idea. Um, it's kind of distracting when you're playing golf to have to film things, but I think I'm going to get used to it um, and get better over time, and hopefully I'll be able to bring better videos as well, so um, like I said, I apologize. I felt like it was still had a couple good shots in there. Um, uh, yeah, it was even through both holes and then my battery died, so it happens and I hope to, to get this edited up and I'll post it tomorrow and hopefully I'll be out playing tomorrow again with my buddy Caleb. So we'll be able to be a little bit more efficient with the videos. So, uh, like I said, subscribe to the YouTube channel, um, follow us on Instagram at Golf, and I look forward to posting some more videos. All right.